That's right, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, it was straightforward. Uh, you know, easy to watch this time. Where it was, uh, it was frustrating to watch from the first furlong in the, in the Gold Cup. It was a disaster all round. But uh, today, yes, we're always uh, comfortable. He raced in his usual relaxed style and uh, got a good lead for you know quite a while. The first two horses uh, leading the pace uh, went well and kept it up for a good while. Uh, he was in front plenty soon enough, but still, I was happy enough. Uh, I knew he wouldn't stop and wouldn't give up when he was tackled. Uh, so I was, I was very confident, really, all the way. It was uh, straightforward, and he was in great shape going into the race. He'd had a good preparation, so we didn't have any worries. And Johnny was saying, although the Ascot Gold Cup with a steady pace was a bit of a disaster, you'd had the setback with the horse on the way there. He learned plenty from what went wrong at Ascot, and it means that he's almost better equipped to tackle every race from here on in. Well, hopefully, you see, that was his first... Uh, proper race since the Doncaster Cup the previous year as a three-year-old so it was his first proper race as a four-year-old and he's still an inexperienced horse he's had very little racing so uh, I'd have hoped that the Ascot race would have brought him on a bit he had a little prep race at Leperstown before that but uh, the Ascot race was you know a tough race that he needed and uh, it's hardened him up and brought him on and uh, hopefully keep going the right way what's the plan with him now I hear that you're considering the Lonsdale stakes at York is that right yes the Lonsdale is three weeks on Saturday um, so provided he bounces out of it well and he does take his races very well uh, we'd hope to bring him back for that the Doncaster Cup uh, comes along quick enough again after that but uh, it's the same week as the Irish St Ledger which is also in but not sure whether we go for that and then you've got the Cadran comes along three weeks after that, and then the long distance Cup at Ascot two weeks after that. So they all come along uh, pretty quickly, but he's had an easy life so far. You know, everything has been geared towards taking in all these Cup races this year. So, uh, and I think he has the constitution for it. So I expect, I expect that's what we're going to aim for. Whether we miss one along the way, we'll see. Okay. And Johnny was there, very confident, very bullish about him. He said, sort of referring to the horses that have finished close up behind as he's idling, I'm confident he's better than all of those horses behind behind me. Do you feel the same way? Well, he's, he's got a higher rating. They, they ran well. The second horse ran a very good race, finished finished very strongly. Uh, but um, your fellow is a good high rating and uh, you know he's, he's justified it today. Um, it was a straightforward on complicated race for him we took no chances today but he was in front plenty soon enough for him he, he would he would like to uh, like to be coming at them at the end rather than being in front two down you know so uh, there's a little bit in the tank he's an ideal cup horse there's there's a little bit in the tank all the time and uh, he's a very relaxed style, so that'll stand to him, that'll help him. And where does he rank? And I know he's still at the point of proving himself. He's won a couple of Group 2s, you know, he, 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 he would need to prove himself at Group 1 level. Where does he rank amongst the stayers that you've trained? Uh, well, I don't get to train too many stairs. We usually sell them all. My clients <laughs> like to like to watch the budget and, uh, you know, I get very few older horses to train. So I'm blessed of this fella, but I did have Enzeli who won the Gold mm. Cup in in '99, uh, and he only he only won the Gold Cup with me because nobody would buy him as a three-year-old. So uh, so you know it's a fluke when I train a horse like this. Uh, but Enzeli was a good horse. He won the Doncaster Cup again the following year, and uh, he was a stare with a turn of foot, but he was hard to train. He was awkward to train. Uh, this fellow is very straightforward, and I think he's just a very good cup horse. A pity he didn't come here as the Ascot Gold Cup winner, which was the plan. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we'll have him there next year and he can make up for it. But I think he's a very good cup horse, and I hope he'll be around for quite a while yet. Well, we look forward to seeing plenty of him and plenty of you. Many congratulations, John. Well done here. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. Thank you. <laughs>